There's no business like show business. There's no business like show business. There's no business like show business. Like no business I know. There's no business like show business. Like no business I know. Traveling through the country is so traveling through the country is so scary. I have a big time. I have a big time. As you watch the benches filling, and there's your big. fun getting ready you know cutting the script getting it to be what we want but just ultimately it's all about the kids and we just have so much fun playing with them and seeing what they can do what I think is really great about the young company is that there are opportunities year-round and the opportunities are so varied if you're not ready to be in a show you can just do workshops uh, if you are in a show but you realize that you could use a little more dance experience you can take a dance workshops and I, I think it's really great how those things can work together they can work separately the shows and the workshops um, or you could just do shows if you, you're not interested in, in that but there's something for you to do throughout the entire year uh, and there are always lots of different teachers and lots of different topics and lots of things to learn um, and I think that that that's wonderful. My favorite thing about the program is just the the passion of the students. I, I always love working with the new group of students, the group that is sort of the regular group. They are so great and, and everybody that comes to work with the young company really just loves theater and, and wants to learn more about theater and I've always had wonderful experiences uh, being able to teach new things uh, and really um, working with people that really want to go to the next level in their performance career. What the hell is going on out here? What are all you people doing climbing up my lawn? And what the damn you are all those buns for? You expect me to go and get fun? Tell ye about them sobbing women who lived in the Roman days. It seems that they all went swimming well the troop was riding by and saw them in their me oh my so they took them all back home to dry at least that's what Plutarch says oh yes and the women were sobbing 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 and to be died to see who the kids are and what they believe themselves to be capable of the first day of the program and then where they are by the end of the program and oftentimes they're doing things that not just that they maybe couldn't do when they started, but they couldn't even believe that would be possible for them. And that's really exciting to see that much growth. My favorite thing about Swan Theater is probably like the unity of the cast. We're just like one big family and it's so much fun the whole time we're at rehearsal. Shadows, summer program since I'm new is like how welcoming people have been to me and kind of like just let me into the community without knowing anybody and I really appreciate that to everyone and it's like my favorite thing because like it's great like I'm really excited to come here even though it's like only my second week. drama where like the kids there like some of them don't really want to be you know in the shows or they're not as enthusiastic about it when you're here like you're paying to be here people really want to work and like get better and I feel like it provides a lot of opportunity to grow as an actor and as a performer and stuff. One of the things that makes Stone Theatre's education program unique is its connection to a professional theater. Uh, we have for two reasons. A lot of our instructors and teachers are working professionals. They're people who work on our main stage shows and that's just a great resource that we have for the, for the students. And secondarily, many of our young company students have performed on our main stage throughout the year, often in our holiday shows, but in other shows we have roles for young actors and we 
um, very much try to use young company actors whenever we can. So we do our summer program on a first come first serve basis, which is I think kind of awesome because it means that anyone who's interested, no matter what their skill level, um, can join. And they just sign up. We start registrations usually March 1st. So about four months before the program begins. And people just come and sign up. And this year, um, with our Act 1 and Act 2 program at least, it filled up really quickly. I think we were all full maybe by the beginning of May. So that's one thing that with the First Come First Serve program, you know, we, we fill up. On the first day of camp, you go and you audition and the, you audition for each show, you sing a song and you have dance auditions and you say a monologue and from that the next day you start rehearsals on, and on the check-in sheet they, it has your part which you were cast in. And they prepare their audition song and then they show up on the first day of the program and they audition and everyone who auditions gets a role in the show. That's very important to us to make sure that um, everyone is equally a part of the production that's going on. Columbinus is unlike any other show I've ever done. I'm usually in, you know, the musicals, the happy musicals, with the dancing and the singing and et cetera and et cetera. The other kind of unique part of our summer program in particular is that two hours of the day are reserved for workshops, which have nothing to do with the shows the kids are in. And then we try to uh, put kids in areas of their interest. We ask for their interest and try to fit them accordingly, but they could be dance, it could be a cappella singing, it could be um, mask making, it could be anything. And that's a really unique part of our program where we really try to say, yeah, the shows are important, but your general education is just as important. Oh, I was in Bowell, musical theater, dance, a cappella, and theater management. Music theory, improv, Laban movement, and voice, but not singing voice, acting voice. Music theory with Mark, the music director of Bat Boy. Um, I took theater management with Chris Carcioni. I took movement, no, Laban, with um, Cheryl. Dance, musical theater history, stage combat, and improv. But my favorite would have to be stage combat because it was really fun and we got to make up a bunch of scenes and like it was just so fun and we got to learn how to like do like stage combat and like hurt people on stage but not really hurt them and it's just so fun. Preparing for the workshops, um, since I haven't really taught a workshop environment before, I'm just kind of, I'm looking forward to but I'm also kind of apprehensively excited about um, getting the chance to teach kids and kind of digging back into my musical training and helping them learn music in a classroom environment. Um, so the workshops that Storm Young Company, basically they're just they're a combination of acting, dancing, singing workshops, um, and you basically just go in. We started off the first two weeks with like sort of basic acting, singing, dancing stuff, and then the next weeks we um, started getting a lot more advanced or whatever. People went into more advanced workshops, and the workshops are basically just ways to kind of improve your techniques and like sharpen your skills, I guess you could say, so for your shows. In our workshops, if they're taking notes and, you know, not crazy notes, but something they're jotting down that something's interesting to them, we talked about for Tuesdays and Thursdays potentially having our cool down um, period be every, all of us taking seven kids, which is seven or eight, seven or eight which theoretically that will be everybody. Um, from so all the different kids from that have experienced different workshops and to take you know 15 minutes or so whatever 10 minutes 10 minutes to share notes and to exchange a quote that they found very helpful or interesting or a concept that was confusing to them or something that excited them and if everybody can talk about it and be sharing have this sort of like um, 
collaboration, sharing, um, exchanging information 10 minutes with one another. That way, you know, people who are in the sense memory class can talk to people who are in a text analysis class and, and get a little bit of information. And it would be a great way to, for them to reinforce what they're learning um, as well as them sharing what they're learning with others who aren't getting that specific training this summer. If you are in a show but you realize that you could use a little more dance experience, you can take a dance workshops. And I, I think it's really great how those things can work together. They can work separately, the shows and the workshops. were uh, Bawal and theater management because for Bawal it was very interesting. I'm always interested in learning about new acting techniques and methods and how they came about. And so it was, I just love learning about those sort of things. And then theater management was really cool because I had no, had no idea how complicated managing a theater is. And so we learned about how everything, everything that goes into making a theater work and how they get the productions and who gets hired. And so that was really cool because I just never even thought about the other side of the table that way before. This year, actually, they started to do um, a music theory class. Everyone had to take a music theory class to kind of, you know, broaden their horizons in terms of music. Instead of just singing all the time, we learned what really, what music is really about. It means no worries for the rest of the each had schedule, scheduled times. So for example, Bat Boy would start at 8.30 in the morning and would have the stage until 12. Then the play, Columbinus, would come in from 12 to 5. And then Crazy For You would come in 5 to 10. And that, sta that happened Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And on Thursday of that week. And then on Thursday, we had, it was Bat Boy from 8.30 to 12 and crazy for you 12 to 5 because Columbinus opened up on that Thursday night. Oh, Jump out of What a wear. Sour breath. First we need a shower. shower. I need a very, very cold shower. I took a shower last night. Right. right. 